Hey there, cool cats. Here we are again on the live server for another Trees and Bees tutorial video thingy. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make one of these. Ooh, you're gonna go, what's this? Well, this is an automatic bee breeder thing. Well, apparently this one doesn't have any flowers. I'll deal with him later, though, because we have a time schedule to keep. Yes, and I'm on fire. Alright. <clears throat> Where are you? You, stop. I'm trying to do a video here. You sent me on fire. All rude-like and whatnot. He apologizes, I'm sure. Alright. So I'm just going to make it two more of these right here where that cobblestone was. Because that's, uh, that's where they're supposed to go. To make this uh, finish off my automatic system here. So what I have, how I have it, is a sorting machine goes in the back. Or behind, uh, behind the guy. And you got to make sure these two are facing the apiary. <clears throat> yeah, which I showed you how to build last episode, so I don't think I need to show you how to build it. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. If you want more in-depth derpy stuff about it, maybe I'll need to do another video on that. But I'm trying to get more and more logical or in into the more and more uh, fancy stuff as I go. Alright, so the first one is going to be the tube that uh, puts the princess... Uh, back into the princess slot. So it goes up top. And uh, the way you're going to want to set this up is this one. Uh, it's the little green, pink, with the blue line, and then air down arrow, and you get this. I have mine set to green, I believe. Yep, green. For that one. And that's all unknown items. So that would be like um, cones and like royal jelly and stuff. So the princess is going to go here. And the drone is going to go here, which I may have also forgotten. Yay! You know what? I set up so much stuff in my inventory, and I was like, dude, I'm going to be prepared. And what do I forget? The princesses and the drones. Yeah. No, that's resilient. I want a Rocky. I'll go get one from Miami Network. All right. A little bit of lag. Alright, so I need two of these guys to add to my system. Here. And yeah, sadly the sorting machine does y does not uh, do the whole mirror thing. So you do actually, this is not the one I was working with, you do actually need to put the B in there and you don't get, a, get take it back until you turn off the system. Um, I do this one. It's an orange or a yellow circle with green arrows around. What that does is just makes it so it's always going if there's something to take out. So that's why I do that. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. And then the next pipe needs to go underneath the whole setup. And this will be where the drone goes. And that should connect up nicely. And right there. Uh, however, this one... Ooh, whoa. Come on. Alright, this one we want to make a different type of tubing. You just take the pneumatic tubing, add an iron, and you get a restricted tube. And what the restricted tube does is makes it so... Uh, Instead of this inventory being, like, really close, instead it will be, like, way far away. Like, I think it's, like, a hundred or something more blocks, or a thousand or something. So pretty much what that prevents is these getting messed up by the drones going into the wrong uh, hives. Which will screw up the breeding process, because these guys are all purebred. I'm not a... Oh, damn it. And just toss that down. Uh, as you can see, these are guys that I want to uh, keep their, or produce their honey combs or multiple times. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to try to set them both up at the same time. Which saves me the issue of having to come back and do it. There. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, stupid flower. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, okay, green is pretty much done. Now I need some more white. And these are just, uh, you know, the b buckets with the paint brushes and easy mode, you know. Okay, and then we're just gonna paint the tops. The only reason I did the tops is because, as you noticed, as you've probably noticed, I only have two paint brushes. So I paint the whole top to get the paint to get go away faster. So I have the... Uh, I painted those wrong, didn't I? I did. Well... Crap. Alright, so now I gotta repaint these. Which I don't think I... Oh yeah, I can. Okay, so... I'm gonna make sure that they're all connected. Because the drones go on on the blue path. Because if it doesn't match with everything else, it will just bother me. So now we'll set this one up real quick. And you can see it again. Uh, this one is green, white, and blue. Princess and drone. All right. And then we take a pipe, and we're going to go, well, right there. And I think I used another restriction pipe. Oh, apparently I didn't. Alright, and then <coughs> this one has to be painted green, which now I have to get the bucket done. Ooh, uh, weird vibrations on that thing. I know there might be an easier way to do this. I don't know. I'm silly and this is the way I've done it since uh, I can remember. So uh, here's a quick tutorial on how to get your paint gone. <laughs> paint the fence. Alright, so I needed green, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, green. Perfect. So now... I paint the ground. Alright, so now I'm going to connect to the bottom here. And then I'm going to paint this green and green. And you have to make sure that that one's green too, because it's going to connect to that one if you don't. And you can make these pipes go in pretty much any direction, as long as they... Well, as long as they come out the back. Like, this one can go wherever you want it to go. These two do need to go back to uh, the hive. Oh, and I need another restriction pipe for right there. Oh, and I'm... Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll go get those. Alright. So that's pretty much the setup for these. And then I'm putting signs on the front so I know what's in each of them. And uh, I'm just powering them with the solar panels. And I found out that one solar panel does power two sorting machines just fine. Then what happens is they come down here. Uh, like the green slots come here. This is a whole row of green ones. They come over here, over there, and then they go into my base, that way. And then these are the extra bees. They come down here, over here, and into this uh, geno pool. Geno? Really? I said it like that? Into the gene pool, where they get destroyed, pretty much, which uh, apparently I'm out of power. I'm not sure how I would be. Uh, I am out of power. Oh, I'm out of lava. That's why. And now I ask myself, how am I out of lava? And where is this emptying to? Sorry for, like, the random... Okay, that one's full still. That one's empty, though. Are any of these on? No, they shouldn't be. I'll show you guys that stuff later. Um, I don't... Okay, so I'll figure that out later. Obviously something's running that shouldn't be and is has drained all of my energy out. But I'm not sure what. <coughs> anyway, nice waste of like two or three minutes to randomly follow something that doesn't really matter. So that's how you uh, make this system that I have here. And you can, there's some other ways you can do it. Uh, this is the way that I've decided to do it, and I like it. I haven't had any bees turn different colors.
concepts on me. Everything's working fine. The bees go where they're supposed to go. So I pretty like it. Pretty like it. Wonderful. Alright, so now we're going to move into a little bit more advanced bee concept. Okay, <clears throat> here we are. We're going to talk about the, uh... Well, first, the fact that I need more of those. Um, the, well, right here, alviary. So, today our goal is to make a working alviary, which may or may not happen. <laughs> I'm hoping it does. So we're just going to have that go a little bit more. Now, you're going to need 27 of these, I believe. Yeah, 27 of these. And this is how it is created. Uh, unscented pan- uh, yeah, paneling, paneling? Yeah, um, or scented. Scented paneling and an impregnated casing makes one aviary block. Okay, and you need 27 of these. As you can see, the stuff goes down <laughs> really, really fast. So I've been making these pretty much since my, well, my last video, and uh, it's been a slow working process, and I finally got enough. I actually have enough to make 28. Ooh, fancy. I'm just going to drop all this stuff off in here to get it out of my inventory. I can also take that guy back if I wanted. But I won't, because that would require me to go back. Go in there. Okay. So, got to wait for more of these to make. Uh, I had something else I needed to show you, but I don't remember. I think it was on the other map. Twenty-one. Okay, so we're going to let those cook up a little bit, and I'm going to show you my single-player map, so I will be right back. Alright, welcome to my, obviously now having red lines here, uh, test world. And single player. Oh, I forgot to start the timer again, but now I did. Alright, so here I have some setup. Some setup? I have set up the design. Uh, here is the alviary once more. Uh, this is the uh, alviary, alviary fan. You can see gold electron tube, alviary block, and uh, four iron makes the fan. This is the heater. The heater makes it uh, hot. It like raises the temperature to hotter proportions and whatnot. And this one makes it colder. All right. Whoa. Okay. And this is the hydro regulator. Hydro regulator. Okay. <clears throat> this is the hydro regulator. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. And what this does is it changes the uh, humidity in the alveary. And this is the rain shield, which I have yet to figure out exactly how it works, so that will be in a later episode when I get to it. Same with the lighting. Uh, the shield, the rain shield most likely, obviously, protects it from the rain. But I'm not sure if it needs to be powered or something. If you know, let me know. Uh, the alvarary lighting, which you might not be watching the video actually if you knew that, but the alvarary lighting here, glowstone and another golden electronic tube, it makes it so they can produce in the dark. Here's the frame housing. Now, uh, the alvarary doesn't allow you to put frames in unless you have a frame housing. And this is the mutator. The mutator makes it more likely for your bees to change what they are. So this would be good for people that are still attempting to get the, the new breeds. Okay. Apologizing for the red lines. So this is my uh, <coughs> alviary. It's pretty much the same as an apiary, as you can see. It's just uh, bigger. Uh, you can see the humidity and stuff are, is all the same. Here is the, the, the frame housing, which you have to click on, and you can put it in there. Um, here is my rain shield and my light uh, thing, which I don't know, again, how they work exactly. 
And then back here I have, this is the heater, no, no, this is the, the fan. Okay, so this is the fan, and um, this is what the fan looks like when it's on. See how it turned blue? And uh, if you watch, the temperature will, like, kind of dance at a lower number. If you want this to be, like, really cold, you have to put more fans on. I'm just showing you what it does. So, and then see how it popped right back up as soon as I turned the fan off? Yeah, so now it's back up at 70. <clears throat> now I come over here, and this is the heater. I'm going to turn the heater on. And now you can see the heater is on. And then if I click on this, you can see that, uh, well, it popped up, and now it's going to dance right around uh, this 90, well, almost 90 number. Then I can go ahead and turn, uh, turn that off. And you can watch as it turns from this orange-red thing back to, uh, normal. And the heat goes, or the temperature goes back down. Then, uh, the same thing with the, uh, the humidity. You're gonna need more blocks than this. Uh, I don't know if it needs power. I honestly don't think you can power it unless you put it on the bottom. But pretty much its thing is you can pump water and buckets into it, or I just have, uh, Accumulus accumulator, aquam, blah 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 accumulator, pumping right into it, and I guess that makes the humidity go down. I don't know how fast it uses water. Let's see. Do 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 do. Okay, so it doesn't use it very fast. Well, we'll let that sit there while I show you how to build this thing. All right. <coughs> So we'll see if it goes down. Wait, what is it right now? We'll go with 59, because that's what it is. Alright, so this is a 3x3 three three square, pretty much. Whoa. So you just build it all simple-like. Alright, that should be tall enough, yeah. Alright, and then you're going to need some slabs, which I already have. You just place these right on the top. And then you give it a second, and wow, that took a lot shorter than I thought it was going to. And ta-da! Ta-da! You have your very own alviary! Yay! And then these blocks work very simply. If you want to, say you wanted to make it like a really, like, uh, what's the word? If you want to make it cold, I guess you'd want to put the fans in, and you can just simply chop out the bottoms, and you replace those blocks with the fan blocks, and you'll wait. Again. I think that's how it works. Yeah, wait again, then it pops up. Then we can just, uh, run some power to it. Oop. I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this power thing, but I'm not doing it like that, because... Yeah. So now you can see they all turned on, and then you look, and now it's cold. Er, well, it's not stabilizing. The temperature is really... Well, if you put a bee in here, he's pretty much just going to freak out, because he has no idea what temperature is. So, that's the concept. I guess there might be a way to make it flow better. Again, I'm pretty much learning along with you. This is the first time I've actually made one of these that worked. Yeah, I'm an awesome teacher. Alright, and you can do the same with the heaters. Get myself three of these. Of course, I can't count. Just put the fan in there, too. Then we'll just, uh, pop these guys off. And the heater's on. Come on. And yeah, you can see the heaters don't look like they're going to turn on until the whole thing is... Okay, so now it says, look, the temperature was warm there for a second. Yeah, see, so it's, it's switching to warm. So it's actually switching the biome, like the way the biome looks, too, into a forest. So that's kind of cool. So it'll actually tell you what bees can, but uh, based on the the picture, what bees would like it in this thing. Um, moving on, 
still don't know what that does. That does, that does. The frame, haha. I know what this does. If you wanted to add, like, frames to your guy, you just put them right in there. And then, uh, wait for it. <laughs> I don't know if you... Yeah, okay. And then again, you have to go down here, and wow, it's really getting... It was really hot there for a second. Look at that. I guess you might need to have four of these for it to work properly. Or at a stable condition. Or maybe a um, better power source. Maybe more more power coming into it would be a good idea. So then you can put your frames in here. And that's pretty much um, pretty much the alveary and how it works. Now we're going to go back to uh, my place and we're going to build a normal one without any of these fancy things at the bee place that we've been putting bees in. And then uh, in the next episode we're going to automate it. Okay guys, here we are back at the place that I'm pretty sure you remember the last episode. This is where we were doing all of our cool bee stuff. As you can see, I've still been running the bees, or at least attempting to. <clears throat> and I'm so I was trying to get more leaves to change colors so we could have uh, more exciting things to do. Although, uh, for a moment, I thought I wasn't going to start recording videos again, so I did, however, find a cherry tree. So, uh, these guys are pretty cool. They make cherries if you break the, pl the bushes. I'll do it. Ha! Cherry. And you can eat it, but I can't because I have an auto feeder and I'm uh, not hungry. So, uh, we're just going to make one of these right here in the center. Because these uh, alvearies are we're going to take place of all these stone. Where the stones are. So we're going to go in here and it looks like... Uh, I've just been throwing bees in randomly. It looks like we've got an unwary princess, a diligent, uh, some diligent drones. So we're just going to break that guy down. And get all this ready. And then we're, I'm thinking underneath of here there will be like an underground room where all the automated stuff is. Alright, so... And I'll add like, uh, these two will probably be normal, and then... Over there, I'll probably put, like, I'll, I'll, like, have them organized. Like, these will be the, the hotter ones, these will be the colder ones, these will be the humidity ones, you know. So each of them will represent their own, like, area. So I can do bees that, like, the tropical ones and all those fun things. It all in my backyard. Instead of 50 bajillion portals in my house that I have to jump through and lag slightly every time I do. So, ha! Huh. So, as you can see, he's just going to be a bigger version of that little guy right there. See? Yeah, he's so cute. Alright, so we can just toss these guys back in here then. And I I'm not sure... <laughs> I guess I'd have to do a little bit more research, well, which I'll tell you next time, on whether or not, like, what this actually does. And, of course, there it's nighttime, so they're not going to work. Because why would they work at nighttime? Uh... Got some cultivated guys over here. I'm assuming, yep. And then uh, these guys I didn't mess with. I tried to keep everything as pretty much the same, like bee and tree wise, as possible, so I didn't mess with this area too much. Uh, you will notice that there are tracks. Tracks. <laughs> I said tracks weird. Uh, tracks. And that's because I made myself like a little go-kart guy. He drives around, or I can drive... I drive around in him, and I can put uh, stuff in him, like uh, the honey cones and whatnot. I'm going to put stuff in him, and he's going to have a spot to turn all of his stuff in sooner or later, which I'm thinking is going to be right here. So I can just drive around, and from the cart, like, click on the thing, do my thing. It's, it's more of a for fun thing than actually, like, useful. As you can see, um, this area has gotten a lot of upkeep to it. I like to think of this, er this bee area as something great. Uh, this is my cactus, rubber, and sugarcane farm using the, uh, the farm. Yeah. 
This is my peat bog farm, which is horribly maintained. Also using the farm blocks, which uh, I can also show you in another episode. If you would like. Or, how about I just promise you to most likely make one in uh, my Let's Play that I most likely will make. And here's a tree farm. Who isn't working because he's out of power because everything's out of power right now. Except for apparently my patrol cart, which is still driving everywhere. Okay, so without further ado, since I've spent like God knows how long going off on randomness of nothing, let's break some uh, leaves. Yeah. Let's break some leaves. It is the tree and bee play and bee, uh, let's play thingy. So I might as well, uh, tree and bee it up. Alright. So let's see, we got one here. Let's break that. Alright, normal oak sapling. Boo. Boo. Alright, what do we got from this guy? A jungle sapling. Again, boo. Something different, guys. Oh, as you can see, I turned my, my fancy stuff off again, which is making it harder to see anything. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I already have one. I'll <laughs> use the mundane leeches, which is this guy, I believe. What's that? Oh, that's a cherry tree tree leaf. Oh, that's different. Okay, and I broke it with the last thing, which means I didn't get a sapling, because... Oh, there's one. So apparently I'm out of those. The grafters right now. Boo. Alright, I'm going to go grab another grafter. Okay, guys, I went and grabbed myself three more grafters. Let's, um, finish grafting these trees. Where was that one that we had just seen? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, can't quite reach it. Guess I'll just break a couple of leaves. Okay, another mundane leech. Nothing fancy. We already got those. Okay, how about you? Another oak. And... Oh, whoa! That one was new. Ooh! A bull pine sapling. <gasps> Excitement! I should probably start my timer again. Or else I'm gonna sit here and all of a sudden go off on this and not pay attention to the fact that I've been recording for a bajillion hours. Alright, so I'm gonna trealize it. Bull pine, bull pine. One by one to grow. We should go check this guy out. But let's finish grafting these trees first. Alright, uh, that's just a red spruce. Oh look, they look pretty much the same. That's an interesting factor to note. Is it going to look like the other one? Oh, okay, there's the red leech again. Or red lurk. <sighs> the pretty full-ish pink one. The pinky one. <laughs> I've like lost it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gone somewhere. Alright, you guys see any? Let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, right there. Wait, this is the last graft. Get rid of it. No, creeper! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that was probably the failest. Okay, so it was nice of me to walk, <laughs> click the wrong walk for it, and instead of doing that, I... What did I do? I opened my thing and I <laughs> tossed my trealizer. <laughs> oh... That was probably the best, like, fail ever. Wow, I'm so happy I got that on camera. I'll fix all this later. <laughs> oh, that, that really makes your heart go, Oh no, my leaf is gone! Oh, that's just depressing. Damn. Creeper blowing up my trees. Oh, that's another silver lime one, I think. Yeah. Oh, my heart is like, I think I just like swallowed my heart. That's what I feel like right now. Alright, what's this? Okay, that's another one. Stupid creepers. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's put the trees we don't want away. Oh, what kind of away? I hear you, zombie. I don't know where you are. You're taking the door and everything. Why do I even have a door? Like, <laughs> the 
hell. Alright, uh... Obviously it was a flaw in my design. Alright, uh... And... And... Alright, another lion guy. Okay, here's one. Nope, that's that's a part of the actual tree. Okay. Yeah, with all these trees just like bundled together, sometimes I like mistake other tree parts for uh, the change of color. Like this guy's, his leaves are actually that color. Um, nope, there's one. Ah, oh, I did it again. <laughs> my, my attention. Ah. Oh. Attention to detail, man. The attention to detail. Alright, let's see. So, I think that's, uh... Pretty much all of the, <laughs> the ones in this area. Oh wait, there's one. Alright, that's another jungle. I could tell by what it looked like when it fell. Uh -huh. I've been grafting trees for some time now, you know. That's why I obviously know not to use the last graft. Stupidly. Ugh. Okay, so I have yet to find what this color tree, this tree changes into, I believe. And there's another one. This one I've seen. Oh, and then the cherry tree. Oh, see, now this is the change. You barely see it. Another mundane guy. It's just some of them are just like can't even tell. Uh, and it looks like uh, as I rip these trees apart sooner or later, I'm gonna need to like regrow most of them. Cause I, I definitely do a number on them when I'm grafting all their leaves, and since their leaves don't grow back. All right. So since I've been recording for uh, 31 minutes, and a good portion of it has been grafting trees, let's plant this baby. And, uh, get started with the, the looking at him, and then we can end the video. Of course, I apparently don't have any bone melt over there, but I do in my tree farm. <laughs> so we're gonna go plant this guy, and he goes right over here. Alright, there's what the sapling looks like. Now we're going to grow him, and... Oh, now that's an interesting looking tree. Oh look, it has like a hole in it. Oh, that's cute. It's a bullpen, so I guess I should say it's manly. That's manly of it. It's a manly tree. Alright, so then we're going to cut it down. Because we get more saplings that way. But of course, because we're not... Derps, we're going to. Where did, hey, get back here. Oh, fall off the tree. Okay, jump over the tree. We're gonna break these guys and make sure that we at least have uh, some more saplings in case all hell breaks loose and this thing doesn't drop saplings often. Because I don't know, I've never dropped him down. We'll find out how often he drops saplings. Alright, so let's see. This is what the. Oh, it's just normal spruce wood. Huh. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is just normal spruce wood. He, uh... He doesn't have a special kind of wood, which is saddening to me because that's the reason why I'm doing this whole tree thing. Is to get fancy colored trees and whatnot. So, I guess, uh... I think I read somewhere about this guy. He's used for breeding other types of trees. So I will add him to our plentiful of derp trees over there. And is it a wisp? It is! I haven't seen one of those in forever. Probably shouldn't walk over there. I'll probably get nailed. So there, um, there's that. There's this guy. I'm gonna see if I can get some more of these guys. And then uh, I'll, I'll add him in there. And next time, hopefully, we'll find another tree. Yay! 
I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, and tune in later or more for uh, some awesome videos that I will be releasing. If you like bees like I do, you know. Trees. Uh, check out some of my other series that you can find on my channel. You can also follow me on Google Plus or Twitter or anything else really that you can find me on. So I uh, will fall back through that portal. So I hope you enjoyed. Like I said again, I already said rate, comment, subscribe minus the rate because again, not 100% sure what that means. Um, I will see you next time on the fluffy couch.